Oh, hey guys, good evening. Oxy here. It is 12:15, and I'm back with another improve your game lesson, which is simple. It's it's patience and knowledge. It's a simple concept, yet a very hard one to grasp for a lot of people. <laughs> of course. Fighting games. Obviously, we're gonna go with Johnny here. Baraka. And might as well go with Fang Face. His ugly ass. Lost hive of the Kai Tin. Well, a revenant Johnny ain't much better looking. So it's been a while since I made another lesson video, but I'm not here to do combo tutorials and all that bullshit. Save that for people who care about looking flashy but never improving. So, we're going to talk today about knowledge and how it's going to apply to you. Also, patience. Well, if you like, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Just, hey, do it. I don't care. I appreciate it. I love the support. And also... Go subscribe to, uh, or really follow Goon Squad Gaming on YouTube and Facebook. But, okay, knowledge and patience. It's something that's going to catch a lot of players off guard. They're like, okay, I know my character inside and out. I know my frames. Let's hop online. Not exactly going to work out in your best interest. Because you have to know other characters to be the best at yours. So, if I'm coming up against a Baraka player, for example. Uh, wrong button. Practice options? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Bone Picker. Okay. So, you know, Baraka has great frame data. He has great- he also has great range. One thing you're going to have to learn is, like, each character's max range. It's 4 4 4 it can hit you from just about anywhere. Back to... It's reactive. Also, that's a great sweep. It's minus 2 on block. One thing I do look at when I come up against other characters is their pokes. I'm a big fan of knowing all my opponent's footsies and then proceeding to tell them to go fuck themselves. So, and also, which is one forward four, minus two. Can stack with that in a chop shop if his variation has that. His basics are his plus frames. No, the wrong one. All right, go. You never see any. The only ones you really have to worry about from Baraka players are those parts. One, one, two, because it's so damn good. You never see two one. No, you never see 2-1-3, just because first it's a high, has no range, and a bloody mess, which is also nice. And also stagger it. So, Baraka has all these tools, but 1-1-2 and 4-2-1-2 can be flawless block. Yeah, that should be it.
that could be false block punished. As you can see right there, it's not that hard to flawless block punish Baraka if he commits to those strings. So you're gonna see like a lot. You're gonna see a lot of one ones, maybe some forward two one stackers, maybe a forward four and a down three, down three chop shot, or his command grab. But that's gonna come with knowledge and playing the game. It's like you know what Baraka players like to do. You kind of tease out that forward four. Catch him with catch him with one, two, get him with a throw, something. You have to throw them off their balance at max range. Now, another character we can do this with is Garrett's. And if you can't get your flawless blocks down, at least know a character's frames. If you're having trouble against a certain character, do not be afraid to go to practice mode and figure shit out. I cannot stress that enough. You have to go to practice mode sometimes. Johnny Cage. I feel like it is the best possible thing. Nowhere, man. Special I will say, I love command. this combat league gear for Gears. It is one of the tightest things I've gotten so far. So, if Gears is pressuring you, for example, just be calm. Just be aware that he's gonna try to live and die by that mix-up game by the, between the low sand trap and potential overhead. Practice options. Fuck. That's not really a true mix-up. You can fuzzy it. That's a true mix-up. So, Gears is gonna try to get you. Uh, trap. Try to set up his 1-1-1-1-3 one, 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 crushing blow. Catch it the overhead. It's about the same trap. Since they had nerfed the dog shit out of this character. Oh my god, that is slow now. He's also gonna his best pressure string is either that 214. I'm sorry, 241 are his 4212. Even though it is minus six now, it's still all mids. I wouldn't try to poke out of it. And they really, really took away that stagger. Jesus fuck. The sandblaster is now an unsafe option. Man, they really balance this character. But Gears is going to try to play you to his range and always keep you aware of the low sand trap. However... thing you can do is keep in mind that you can block the set flawless block the second part of his one 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 three i'm not sure about forward two on two so this is going to be a bit of an experiment here oh good fucking god If you 
starts throwing out 1-1 one, one a lot, close range. The first one's going to whiff. That's your cue to flawless block the second. So a lot of Gears players are going to do standing one into throw. Try to throw you off that flawless block. Also, one thing you do want to be aware for is they're going to do down four into sand trap. Gears is down four is like one of his only lows. Actually, I think it is his only low outside of his back four. So I'll try to catch you pressing buttons after a poke. Yeah, we'll try to fall spot that forward two one two real quick. I don't think you fall as block it. Or so, I'm probably wrong. Now let's switch things over to Gears and have him block. One character you're gonna be wanna you're gonna want to be patient against is Johnny Cage. Because, as you can see, Johnny's frame data is insanely good. 1, 2, stagger, that's 0. 1, 2, 4, plus 6, minus 2, although that standing 2 whiffs on certain characters. I believe Joker is one of them. I know. I think Kano still is. I know Cabal is. I know Shang Tsung is. But any male that's a midget, it's going to whiff. He's got a few mids, 4 2 1, 4 2 1 2. You never see him. Four, uh, 3 4, up 3 is also plus. And you guys should know by now, forward 3 and back 3 just have insane range. <laughs> One thing you do want to know is that also with character knowledge, anybody can neutral duck the second hit of this and be okay. So whenever you see enhanced force balls come out from Johnny Cage, just be wary to block. Real players' tendencies. I tend to throw out forward three off. Cage rage if blocked. I mean, you shouldn't block it. It's all it is minus three. <laughs> Neutral duct. Just one thing you want to do before hopping online. Go into character's frame data. It's a big deal, especially if you're trying to practice against a character that is giving you trouble or you don't know their mix-ups. Go into their frame data, take a look at them. There's no shame in doing it. Or if you can, learn gaps. Learn gaps. Sex machine. That's right. Thank you, sex machine. Kodal the Barbarian. Like, for some reason, I don't see people exploiting a lot of Kodal's uh, sweet crib. Back to 2 3 Gap. Uh, this Kodal is a character with insane range. 
He's got a few bad he's got a few bad matchups, but now I think he's really solid. I do play with him and probably should put out videos here. But if you go for his overhead, he has one glaring flaw. That's if you can exploit it. Timing does have to be pretty specific. You can stop at any time, Cuddle. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit drunk. But there is a gap there you can't see. Also, a lot of codals are going to go for forward two, which is going to carry him halfway across the screen via mids. So just be ready to get your ass beat. Also, one thing, pay attention to the variation of character that you are going up against. You'd be surprised. It is actually a big deal. You can see what tools they have. Oh, and how they're going to use them against you. Shit, I'm getting tired. So I'm going to try to wrap this up as soon as I can. <laughs> of course. Liu Kang. And a big one is Stabby just... Stabbers Guild. Finding characters that you run into commonly online and just learning their strengths and their weaknesses. <sighs> like, for example, Liu Kang, bane of everybody's fucking existence. Is practice options, I swear, every time. That stupid back one. And four, four, three, up three.
Sorry, it sounded a bit of fun there. So, I had a lot of trouble against Liu Kang for a while, and then I went into his move list. And was trying to learn how to beat this. If you see Liu Kang, take that stance. You can interrupt him. Oh, it's by only a uh, plus four instead of plus six. But you can floss pocket or you have other options if he just keeps throwing it out. Oh, AI options, god damn it. It's hard for me to false block this. Then we let the Shaolin piece of shit happen. Yep, it's coming to him. If you false block that string, it's also negative. After that, it's just watch the Kang player. They're just going to do the Kang things. After that, it ain't so hard. When you recognize something is plus, at least in MK11, don't try to challenge it with buttons. You're going to get blown up and hit with crushing blow setups all the time. Learn your opponent's gaps. I mean, if I showed you anything, I'm absolutely not perfect at this. But... If it, I have displayed that I have enough knowledge about these characters to, for the most part, handle any matchups I come across. So, the best thing for you guys is just do the same, go into practice mode, figure things out learn your matchups learn your opponent's max range if they're pressing you with plus frames and they want you to press buttons be patient an opportunity will come where they're going to try to catch you off the, with a mix-up of some kind be a mid be it a throw and as soon as you break that pressure's back on they can't mind game you anymore uh, i hope this lesson has been fruitful to you guys and as always, I appreciate the channel support. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. And subscribe for more MK11. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. I'm out. Peace. Oh, fuck Luke Gang. <laughs>